Good morning, Forest. I'm Madison Quinn. And I'm Madeline Catalan. Today's date is Thursday, September 7th, and you're watching WCAT. This year's Club Rush is on Friday, September 8th. This is a great opportunity to learn more about all the clubs we offer here on campus and maybe even join a few. Make sure you don't miss out on this event. It will be going on during all lunches. Freshmen, this is especially important as this will help you get more involved with the school as well as finding people that have the same interests as you. NHS applications are now open. Just scan the QR code on any of the flyers around school to gain access to the application. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Crawford in B250. One of the clubs you can join here at Forest is Best Buddies. Let's learn some more about this, about what this club is about. This is a great club if you want to better the community on campus and have a chance to make new friends. American Sign Language Club will be meeting after school today in the House of Forest until 4 p.m. for an informational meeting. Any and all are welcome to join us as we will be starting with the basics. Now let's throw it over to Ethan with all our sports for today. What's up, Forest? I'm Ethan here with all of your sports news for today. Last night, our girls volleyball team won 3-0 over North Marion. Tonight, our girls' volleyball team will play Bellevue at home at 6 o'clock. Last Friday night, our Forest football team played the North Marion Colts and took home a win. I had the chance to be there, so let's take a closer look. Our Forest High School football team had their first home game against North Marion last Friday night. Uh, man, it, it was just great. We came out here, played as a team, executed on the ball like every time, you know. And it was a really challenge because everybody on the Cala uh, voted for North Marion to beat us. And we came out here, we had a bigger mindset than they had. Okay. Our Cats put up a vicious fight and ultimately won the matchup, even after North Marion was favored to win. We, we just practiced all week, you know, it was a mental and physical thing we had to endure. But at the end of the day, we came out and played as a team, and that's what really matters because we're trying to make a statement. Teamwork, dedication, and effort won this matchup for the Cats. Make sure to keep an eye out for the rest of their season. For WCAT, this has been Ethan Ramsey reporting. Our bowling team has a meet tonight against Bellevue at 4 o'clock. Our golf team also has a meet today at 4 o'clock against P.K. Young. We have a swim meet tonight at 5 o'clock against Bellevue High School. Yesterday, our JV football team played the Trinity, Trinity Catholic Celtics and unfortunately lost with a score of 6 to 30. This Friday night, our football team will be playing South Sumter at home. Make sure to come out and support our Wildcats. The student section theme is Hawaiian, so be sure to be in your best tropical attire. The boys and girls cross country team were in at the Florida Horse Park Invitational over Labor Day weekend and came away with some big PRs. In one of the biggest meets of the year, the boys team had five runners under 20 minutes with Zach Vickerman posting a time of 17.22. Jordan McLean not only placed 12th overall for the varsity girls, but also set the Forest High School record for the 5K by running a 19.58 uh, race. Cross Country will be back in action this Saturday at Mount Dora. That's all the sports news and scores I have for you today. Once again, I'm Ethan, and now back to our anchors. Forest faces North Marion this Thursday at Ocala National at 4 p.m. Freshmen, you can order your class shirts now until September 10th. Reminder, no extra shirts will be ordered. Shirt orders can be placed in RevTrack in the school's web store. Freshmen, if you want to outsell the class of 2026, you need to get your orders in now. 
please check your student email to see if you have any library or textbook debt. Be sure to clear all your debt before homecoming. You can pay overdue fines and print fees in person in the library or online on RevTrack, the school's web store. Lost books must be paid for in RevTrack. Any books you owe to other schools must be paid for in the school's web store. With the topic of bettering our education, progress reports are also coming out this week, so make sure your grades are where you want them before they are finalized. Well, students, that's all the updates we have for you today. S to stay updated on all things FORS, make sure to follow us on FHS underscore WCAT on all social media such as YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, X formerly known as Twitter, and the new app Threads. Once again, I'm Madison Quinn. And I'm Madeline. Thank you for, thank you for tuning in, and like always, Go, go Cats! cats.